Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome dark mode slide transition in PowerPoint. So let's go! Alright guys, so let's jump into PowerPoint and in today's video I'm using PowerPoint Microsoft 365 for Mac. And before we continue, I want to say huge thanks to Vizme for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneScale channel. Vizme is a cloud-based presentation platform and it's often called the perfect PowerPoint alternative, but it's also a great companion to PowerPoint. Businesses and professionals who want to create impactful and engaging presentations without design experience can tap into its beautiful presentation themes that allow you to access thousands of slides and quickly structure your presentation. It also provides a vast library of professional icons, animated icons, millions of photos, illustrations and even 3D objects to give life to your designs. You can also import your own PowerPoint into VisMe as a starting point or export your presentation to PowerPoint. But its magic is in the ability to create engaging interactive presentations online with the ability to share them as a public or private link and even measure the engagement of every slide with VisMe's built-in analytics feature. So definitely check out VisMe at visme.com. Create your free VisMe account and start creating awesome content for your brand today. Alright guys, so let's start with these two beautiful slides. They are pretty much identical. The main difference is that one slide has a dark background and one slide has a white background. Ok, and by the way, if you would like to use the same portrait photo, you can find it on unsplash.com, link is in the video description. Ok, so the slide design is pretty simple, we have a couple of text boxes, we have some rectangles and we have these two donut charts on the right side. And if you would like to create these kind of donut charts, one of the easiest ways is to use the arc tool that you can find in the shape menu. Ok, and here at the top we have this little dark theme button with a little moon icon. Later on I'll show you how we can make this button clickable. And here on the second slide we have this dark background photo, once again you can find it on unsplash.com. And as well as you can see I have made all of the text white and added some colors to these charts so that they stand out a little bit better in this dark photo. Now the next step is to copy the second slide as a picture. And one way to do that is to play the second slide on the full screen and then capture the screen. So if you're on Mac you can hit Shift Command 3 and if you're using Windows just use the print screen button and this way we can copy the second slide as a picture. Alright so the second slide has been copied to our clipboard and now we can jump to slide number 1 and hit Command or Ctrl V to paste the second slide as a picture. That's awesome, as you can see here's the first slide and on top we have pasted this dark mode picture. And now let's make sure that this dark photo covers the whole slide so we can just grab this corner, hold down the control key to resize the photo from center and skadoosh this photo covers the whole slide. Let me show it once again, so let's just grab this corner, control key and drag it until this dark photo covers the whole slide. Now let's make sure that the photo is still selected and let's crop it to aspect ratio one by one, that's a perfect square. Let's get back to crop options and now let's crop this photo to a circle just like that and let's get back to crop options once again and now let's select this white line on the side and by moving this line we can actually move the cropping area and the trick is is to move this cropping area outside of the slide to this top right corner just like that. And this way we have made this dark photo invisible because the cropping area is outside of the picture. And now let's just duplicate slide number one. Ok. So now we have three slides in total but actually all we need now is just slide number one and slide number two. Alright. And now on slide number two let's try to find our invisible circle with photo. Here it is. Let's go to crop options once again. And this time let's select this black handle at the bottom left corner and drag it until the whole black mode uh, photo is revealed. Just like that. Alright. And now let's make sure that we add morph transition to the first and second slides. So let's just select them. Let's go to transitions and choose morph transition. And now let's check it out on the full screen. Morph transition should do all of the magic. Ok, so now I'm using the keyboard keys to move back and forth between the slides and as you can see we're getting this beautiful rounded slide transition between the light and dark modes. That's super awesome. Alright guys, and one more thing that I'd like to show you is how to make those little buttons at the top right corner of the slide clickable. 
As you can see, we have this dark theme button and we have a light theme button. Okay, so let's jump to the first slide. Let's make sure that we select this dark theme text box. Let's go to insert, action, and choose link to the next slide. That's awesome. Hit OK. Now let's jump to the second slide. Let's make sure that we select this full screen dark mode photo. As you remember, this is a photo because we have print screened uh, the second slide. And once again, let's go to action. And this time, let's link it to the previous slide. OK. And one more thing, let's go to slideshow, let's go to setup slideshow, and let's make sure that this presentation is browsed at kiosk mode, which means that all of the mouse clicks and keyboard clicks will be disabled except our actions. So that's awesome. Let's check it out on the full screen. All right, so as you can see, the usual mouse clicks don't work anymore, and we have to use those little buttons at the top right corner of the slide. So let's test them out. Everything seems to be working according to the plan. So congratulations ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this awesome dark mode slide transition in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.